ಸರಸ್ವತೀನಮಸ್ತುಭ್ಯಂ ಪರದೇ ಕಾಮೂಪಿಣಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರಂಭಂ ಕರಿಷ್ಯಾಮಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಿರ್ಭವತು ಮೇ ಸದಾ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌಬುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂ ಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವದೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿಷಾವೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಗುಡ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಓಂ ಗುಡ್ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಎಸ್ ಸೋ ಡಿಡ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಣಾಯಾಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಟಾಕ್ಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು can everyone have their videos on as again this is a practical class good okay good so how we will do this is um we will go through the pranayama we did in the last class again and i will finish the bit uh, that is still left and if you had any questions during your last weeks of practice uh, in any of those uh, particular pranayama we're going to talk about you can ask me about that and um, then you can uh, i'll give you an opportunity to ask any questions you might have had with your meditation practice something which came up and then i will guide you all into a meditation once more did all of you also pick a mantra yes okay great so let's start off with the simple yogic breathing okay let's start off with simple yogic breathing and um just for now just relax arrive in the space sit comfortably close your eyes so check your body for any tension stretch out if you need to and take a deep breath and as you exhale feel that any tension you observed leaving your body take another deep breath in exhale and feel your body relaxing leave all your thoughts of what happened so far today all everything you need to do after this session leave it all behind for now bring yourself completely in this moment so taking a deep breath in and exhale completely let your spine be erect keep your shoulders relaxed gently rolled back with a gentle smile on your face we will breathe in and we will chant three ohms together breathe in breathe in take a deep breath in om
Take a normal deep breath at your own pace. And now I'll give you a count for the yogic breathing. So four counts in and eight out. Exhale. Getting ready to breathe in. Inhale, om one, om two, om three, om four. Exhale, om one, om two, om three, om four, om five, om six, om seven, om eight. Inhale, om one, om two, om three, om four. Exhale, om one, om two, om three, om four, om five, om six, om seven, om eight. Inhale, om one, om two, om three, om four. Exhale, om one, om two, om three, om four, om five, om six, om seven, om eight. Inhale, om one, om two, om three, om four. Exhale, om one, om two, om three, om four, om five, om six, om seven, no mate. Inhale on one, on two, on three, on four. Exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, no mate. Inhale on one, on two, on three, on four. Exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, no mate. Inhale on one, on two, on three, on four. Exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale on one, on two, on three, on four. Exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale on one, on two, on three, on four. Exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale on one, on two, on three, on four. Exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Relax. Take a deep breath in at your own pace. One more. Getting ready for Kapal Bhati. Exhale. And inhale, getting ready. of deep breaths in at your own pace. Getting ready for retention. Inhale and hold your breath. And exhale. Take a couple of deep breaths at your own pace. Filling your lungs with all that beautiful prana. And then exhaling.
Getting ready for the second round of Kapalbhati. Inhale. Hand, 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 hand. Hind, 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 hind. Exhale fully. Take a few deep breaths. Getting ready for retention, this time for 60 seconds, but you can release if you need to. Inhale and hold your breath. Exhale. Relax and take a few deep breaths at your own pace. Getting ready for the final round of Kapalbhati. Inhale. Hind, 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 hind. Hind, 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 hind. Exhale and relax. Take a few deep breaths at your own pace. Getting ready for the last round of retention. Inhale and hold.
Inhale. Relax. Take a few deep breaths at your own pace. So all of you are doing very well. All your posture is correct and I don't see any issues. Have you had any challenges or any questions about these two practices in the last week when you were doing it? Uh, breathing out when we are doing uh, Kapal Bharti, mm -hmm. we breathe out, right? You, it's just forceful exhalation. You're only focusing on the breathing out. Correct. So sound, when you are doing sound is coming, but when I'm doing sound is not coming. Yeah, that's because I'm giving the count. <laughs> okay. so I'm, I'm basically saying one, two, one, two. But uh, no, so now just, uh, I will just try. This is correct? Yeah, yeah that's fine. So correct. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Fine. So it can be, it can go faster or slower as, as you, depending on oh. practice, but at, in time it will go faster. You can even do it up to two minutes continuously or whatever. So what kind of count are all of you oh. at right now? Are you finding your count is able to increase? I didn't count actually. <laughs> yeah. So try to count because every round you should do more than the previous round. So if you're doing... So I did approximately 35, um, 50, and uh, about seven, uh, 65, 70 I did right now. So when you do all that, it's easy to count. Like you just count yourself the number of pumps you're doing and make sure you're increasing the pumps every time. That's important. And you'll find in, time, in like, you know, after a week, two weeks, if you're able to do maximum of 60 right now, you'll be able to do 100 and then 150 or whatever. Yeah, but you shouldn't exhaust yourself. It should be energizing exercise. <laughs> yes, Deepaji. Thank you. So the retention is after inhalation, right? Not after exhalation, if I understood correctly. Yeah, in this way, we're doing after yeah. inhalation. There is also a after exhalation. Uh, retention we do, but we're not doing that, practicing that right now. Yeah, I thought I hadn't heard properly. That's why I thought let me just check. Thank you. Right. So you all did the alternate nostril breathing. Right. So that was part of it. Now we will do the. So from this week now, when we are done, you will do what is called anuloma viloma. So there is basically for full anulom viloma, there is one more part which is added, which is retention. So the alternate nostril breathing we did was four inhale and eight exhale from the opposite nostril, right? So now we will add retention. So again, same uh, Vishnu mudra in the right hand. So for now you can just watch. So again, we will start from the left, breathe in four, and then you will hold both and uh, you will retain your breath for 16 counts. And then you will exhale through right. And the same nostril you exhale through, you'll inhale again. So you'll inhale through right, hold your breath for 16 counts and exhale through left. And then you again inhale through left. So it's the direction is exactly the same except that after every inhalation, we are adding a retention, okay? So I will give count now and we can try. So right hand in Vishnu Mudra, left hand in Chin Mudra, right? Getting ready, exhale. Inhale, left, om one, om two, om three, om four, retain. Exhale, right, om one, om two, om three, om four, om five, om six, om seven, om eight. Inhale, right, om one, om two, om three, om four, retain.
Exhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold. Exhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold. Exhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four, hold. Exhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four, hold. Exhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six. Oh, sorry. Inhale, hold. Exhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, hold. Exhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four, hold. Exhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, hold. Exhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, hold. Last retention. Exhale. On one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale. On one, on two, on three, on four, on five. Sorry, hold. This last retention now. Exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Release. Take a couple of normal breaths. <clears throat> Pardon me, I messed up the counts once or twice. <laughs> I haven't given instructions in a while. <laughs> yes. Oh. My question is, uh, when we are retaining, do we press both nostrils? Yes. Or only the one that inhales? We have to press both. Yep, see? Yes, sir. and the count is uh, 4, 12, 8, right? 4, 16, 8. Okay. Yeah. So I was able to count only less than 16. I see. Maybe I was going a bit fast, but it's... Uh, when um, it could be because when I'm giving the instruction, like when I say inhale, om one, om two, om three, or four, it's becoming a bit longer. So when you do your own counts, it'll be more better. It's four, sixteen, and eight. Generally, it's uh, the important part to maintain is that retention. Retention should always be exactly the same. Right, so you can, for now you can start, you can, this is good enough actually to keep doing four, six, uh, four, 16 and eight for as long as you want. If at some point you feel like increasing, uh, not immediately after a few months or something, you can increase to five, 10, 20. 
right? So it's 2x and 4x. Okay. Nagaraji, you wanted to ask something? Uh, yes, Panagaraji. Um, I thought it is 16 is Kumbhaka and 8 is Rechaka. 4 yes. is uh, inhalation. Correct. And yeah. also, when you are doing the Apal Bhati, the mm -hmm. stronger your expiration is, mm -hmm. your body actually can move, isn't it? It is allowed. Because it depends upon how strongly you are doing the, the Kapal Bhati. Mm, yeah, it, it'll move a little bit, but uh, typically your whole body shouldn't be shaking at most. No, your no. Abdomen will move. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's not required to do so forcefully also. Just um, it's better to go for... Uh, longer rather than more forceful. Okay. That would be better. And, and expiration is always longer than the inspiration. Yes. Why is that? And also, mm -hmm. you don't really have enough breath left for you to keep pushing out. So does that mean it is actually period between the two breaths that's also counted as expiration? Yeah. So basically, in Kapalbhati, inhalation is happening. You're not trying to stop your inhalation, right? It's just automatically happening. So you're just focusing on your exhalation, but inhalation is happening between every breath. You won't feel that same sensation when you're holding your breath. Yeah, no, what, what I'm asking, it's a different question. Okay. Um, so regarding the, you know, the Kumbhaka Rechika breathing or yogic breathing, Mm -hmm. uh, anuloma, viloma breathing. Mm -hmm. They're always expiration is longer than the inspiration. Obviously, in uh, in Kapalbhati, expiration is very short. Right. Very short and sudden. Whereas in the, all the other breathings, yeah. expiration is always longer and you don't really have enough breath to keep pushing out. Oh, okay. Maybe my um, count might be too long for you. When you're doing it yourself, you will find approximately that. So try it yourself now. No, no, no. Because I've been doing pranayama for a number of, for a long time. Oh, I see. Okay. What I find is when I try to increase the length, okay. you just don't have much breath left for you to keep pushing out after, you know, you have taken four second inspiration is a good time for inspiration, right. but eight second expiration is a very long time. Mm. And you may, for, you know. For most people, that is a, about correct because, mm. um, so inhalation, what we say is, fill your lungs to about three fourths of the capacity. You, so you're not filling up your lungs till you're like ready to burst, mm -hmm. but exhalation, you can keep actually going till you know your stomach goes completely in and uh, you're actually breathing out completely, we say. So for most people, it will be four to eight, but no need to force yourself if you're finding it. But then if you are increasing the duration to say eight and 16, mm -hmm. then you have no breath left. Eight and 16. Yeah, I, I've never honestly tried eight and 16. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We generally don't go in, when we're just doing inhalation, exhalation, we won't go that far. Maybe Thank in you. some advanced pranayama we will do, but we're not doing that today. Yes. So any questions in pranayama? So far, this uh, anlom viloma, everyone's comfortable with? Ma'am, one question. Yes, Preeti. Uh, as you said, in Kapal Bharti, uh, eventually when you go in a practice, we can uh, increase it. Like um, currently, I'm doing 20, 35, then I may go um, around 50 or 100 based on my practice. But uh, in mm -hmm. Kapal Bhati, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kapal Bhati, huh. yeah. And in retention, you said retention, how far, you said ki 60 seconds, how far we can again hold it or 60 seconds is enough for long running also or we should increase it? You can increase it if you like. It doesn't matter. You can, if you want to keep challenging yourself and increasing, you can increase to two minutes also. Okay, but they should not go. The point of the retention practices, you will notice that while you're retaining your breath, your there's not much thoughts which can happen at that point. But you should never force. It should be a very comfortable retention. Okay. 
breaths. You shouldn't be trying to hold your breath when you actually need. To. So as long as you can hold it very comfortably without thinking about, oh, I need to breathe. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, that, that's how much retention you should do. Thank you. The whole idea is when you are doing that comfortable retention, there is no thoughts in your mind. I mean, you might have your count going on, but that's about it. Yes. So the meditation practice, I think some of you are probably already doing or doing meditation from before, right? So if you already had an initiation, of course, please stick with that mantra. If you picked a mantra now, I would encourage you to try get initiated when you have a chance to be near a teacher or when you visit the ashram or maybe one of the Shivananda centers or so on. Uh, if you don't have an option to do any of those things and you really want, we can also, you can ping me separately and we can have a Zoom sort of initiation, which will be very simple. But uh, the idea is once you've picked your mantra, and especially once you've been initiated into that mantra, that mantra is for life, you know, till such time a teacher, you need to maybe you at some point you feel like changing to a nirguna mantra and the teacher says you're ready. So you can switch to a nirguna mantra at that point. Right. So it, what did you all do twice a day practice? How, how, how was your practice the last week? I would like to hear from you all. I do every... Preeti ji, go on. Sorry. Uh, daily, uh, seven o'clock, 7 p.m. Uh, and morning also. Okay. Because 7, uh, 7 p.m. I'm going along with my parents because I'm teaching them. I'm hearing from you and teaching them. Okay, nice. And as I said, they uh, the, they have a heart problem. So uh, one of the doctors said Ki you should learn a breathing exercise and you should teach your parents. So I'm teaching them. Mm -hmm. And in morning, I'm doing for myself. Okay, great. <laughs> and uh, yeah, did they pick a mantra as well? I hope they have a mantra there too. I, I didn't uh, go in that far because currently my father has to pick how to, you know, do pranayama okay. because he's struggling into that. So maybe he, he'll he do a little bit slow. So I'm just, um, okay. I'm just seeing his good. Okay, like, that's very nice. Right. Yeah. Uh, Shubhita ji, you are saying? Yeah, just, I, I was able to do only once a day, really. Mm -hmm. uh, Mostly in the morning because I wake up early. So that's great. Uh, between 5 30 and 6, almost around 5 30 every morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, what are you, I'm what has been your experience the last week with doing your daily practice? So I think my coping skills were better considering I did have a rough week last week. Uh, I think I coped much better. Mm. Or maybe it is subjective feeling or whatever, but I did think that probably I handled situations way better, calm, mm. you know, cope in general, yes. What's uh, everyone else's experience has been? Have, were you able to be consistent? Uh, I am consistent, but I am more than awareness. I'm just visualizing things and keep things just keep coming ah, then you're not doing the practice <laughs> then you're just sitting right like so i mean there is visualization meditation so i tried a mantra, I have a mantra which i keep repeating but yeah suddenly i realize the mantra is gone and i'm doing oh, something that, that, else. That's okay. the mind will drift uh, but the idea is you shouldn't let the visualizations carry on like as soon as you realize because you're doing mantra meditation as long as, as soon as you realize, ah, oh, okay, now I'm thinking of something else, you just gently come back to your mantra. So that so, is that it's obviously I'm like, why am I not holding on there? Why am I going there? No, so you should never <laughs> criticize or judge yourself because that is the practice. The practice of meditation. So the it's the tendency of the mind to wander, and your 
work in this, uh, your effort in this is to bring the mind back gently. Mm -hmm. So you should have complete dispassion when you realize the mind has wandered. It is completely natural for the mind to wander. It's great that your awareness is letting you identify that the mind has wandered. You say, oh, come back to the mantra. That is the so, whole. So I have a question on the same topic, really, that uh, since we are not saying the mantra loudly, mm -hmm. I'm actually visualizing that mantra itself. So with my closed eyes, I see that statement in front of me. Mm -hmm. uh, is that acceptable or is that okay? I mean, I would say not because, I mean, that's not the practice. The practice is just, just the, the sound. Uh, because we there is other kinds of meditation where you visualize or whatever. The idea is you shouldn't keep changing the practice, right? So uh, the consistency is the key to grow in this meditation. So the meditation we've decided on is this mantra meditation, the sound. So don't visualize anything. So if you find yourself visualizing the mantra also, just come back focusing on the sound. So you don't try to push anything away because the mind is actually capable of holding only one thought at a time. So if just gently come back to your mantra, whatever is happening, whatever visualization is happening, whatever else is happening, just always gently that's come back to your mantra. That's another thing. Let's say I'm doing one activity. I realize when I'm doing that activity, there are four or five more thoughts which come in. Mm -hmm. And then I say no, no, and come back and say That's no. That's perfectly no, fine. No, 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 no even to even say no. You just come back to your mantra. The mind's gone, gone, gone. You noticed? Come back to your mantra. That's your practice. So you don't even need to say, oh, why, why has my mind wandered? Or nothing like that. You just come back to your mantra. That's the whole practice. That right? and uh, and it's also important never to judge how my meditation was today. You know, so sometimes you will have, uh, usually over time it gets better, but you know, some days you will still have uh, meditation where it was, your mind was completely distracted, full of thoughts. And that's okay. Your job was to sit for that 20 minutes and try to meditate. So that's why we're calling it a concentration meditation, right? Because right now your mind is still involved. So meditation itself, you have no control over. Meditation happens. All you're focusing on is the concentration part right now. So even if it was a great meditation, you're having some other, um, you know, kind of, kind of out of this world sort of visuals, you feel you've had this some kind of big experience, even then, don't judge it. I mean, just like you don't judge when it felt bad, you don't judge if you think it was good. All these still belong to this world of anatma, it doesn't matter. So you always just come back to your mantra. Any other challenges which you felt? My mind goes to the counts. Counts? Yeah. <laughs> so come back to the mantra. I don't know how it will happen. But, uh... You can go to anything. So whatever it goes to, you just come back to your mantra. It's as simple as that. <laughs> You have to train the mind, you know, so that's what we're doing here. Otherwise, if I sit down, not for meditation, then I can concentrate on mantra or any japa. But mm -hmm. uh, when I, when I'm trying to do meditation, kind of, mm -hmm. the way you teach us, I'm not able to concentrate on the na, mantra or meditation. I'm distracted towards the counts. All yeah, so you'll, I mean, what do you mean when you sit down to do mantra, you're able to concentrate? What's different when you do that? I just uh, sit 
in the monday or something i don't count i don't i mean so if the like we mentioned having a good place for meditation is very important having a standard place which makes you uh invokes that devotion in you is very useful so if you're you feel you're able to feel that devotion more in your puja room that's the perfect place that's where you should meditate just make sure no one else is around that time and uh, you can make that your standard meditation place so generally it's ideal to have at least an altar or something like that something which inspires you and it's like anything your, your mind just has to be trained it will get trained <laughs> time <laughs> yeah uma ji while meditating and to concentrate in the eye bro anya sakra a uh, headache like felt uh, more headache like that uh, i think yeah yeah so we're not doing that so in when i was giving the instructions initially so i gave you a few focusing points but then once you start your mantra then forget anything else don't focus on your breath don't focus on the point nothing else just do the mantra but just only follow the mantra only yeah, yeah. even when i initially when i give that instruction to focus on your third eye or heart is just a very gentle focus just bringing it's kind of more like bringing your attention there you're not really piercingly focusing there you're just gently bringing your attention there always gently everything we are doing is very gently while doing pranayama or retention at the time of kapalapati we are concentrating on the point of concentration that time to get a feeling of a headache like yeah so uh, you you're focusing too hard it shouldn't be a focusing it's just think of it as just i'm bringing my attention there so it's like because you're not trying to see anything there right <laughs> so it's just gently i'm you're just aware of your third eye that's it third eye or heart maybe that's not the more more natural point for you maybe you'll find it more natural to bring your attention to your heart center you can try that too yeah. i have a question spandana ji i've yes. been doing pranayama every morning so then to eight and is it okay to change the mantra sometime uh, one day om namah shivaya next day om namo bhagavate vasudeva is it okay no <laughs> or have to choose only one you have to choose one it's okay because, can because sometimes i wanted to try other mantras also how is it <laughs> yeah initially it's okay so now you had one week to try uh, now you have to pick <laughs> pick and do so if it helps you you can have a separate call with me and we'll initiate you into that mantra but you have to pick <laughs> yeah <laughs> till i think i can do no, no you should pick now at this point on pick is now <laughs> so you can always have your other mantra for something else right you can always pick up a japa mala and do japa or whatever but when you decide like you know i have this once a day or twice a day ideally practice that i'm going to do my meditation this is my mantra for that meditation okay. you can for a particular you can do as many mantras as you want you can do you know uh, five rounds of om namah shivaya five rounds of om namo narayana ya whatever you want you can do japa uh-huh. all day. you can also use other mantras like different points in the day but ideally you know this keep keep one mantra it will it will help you not just for your meditation but uh, you can actually use this mantra even you know when you're not really doing anything much mm. uh, you know you're just sitting you can have that mantra going on in your head even that time yes yeah. okay mm. thank you any more questions so always uh, we'll end with the meditation session and uh, shall we do 15 minutes or 20 minutes what does everyone feel like it is okay <laughs>
Twenty. I heard two twenties and one fifteen. Twenty is okay. Okay, let's do twenty. Okay, everyone, can close your eyes. I'm going to. Close your eyes. Keep your hands in chin mudra on your knees. Make sure your spine is erect and your shoulders are relaxed and rolled back. Try to keep your chin parallel to the floor. Feel that lovely prana, which is filling your lungs from that pranayama practice we just did. Take in a few more deep breaths. As you inhale, filling your lungs with that prana. And as you exhale, letting go of all thoughts. Inhale and exhale any little tensions that you feel in your body. As you continue breathing deeply, feel your body relaxing, surrendering. But at the same time, very aware. Bring your attention to your breath. Focus on that inhalation and exhalation, that natural rhythm of your body. Gently bring your attention to either your third eye or your heart center as you continue breathing. Now gently introduce your mantra. Let go of everything else and focus only on your mantra. Might be loud or soft. The pace may change as you keep repeating it, and that's okay. It may get softer or more elongated with time. That's okay. Just make sure that whenever you hear, see, notice your attention drifting, you just gently Bring your attention back to your mantra. Now I'll leave you to meditate, to meditate together for the next 20 minutes. Mm.
Continue to keep your eyes closed. Stop chanting your mantra. Gently bring your awareness back to your surroundings. Feel the peace after that meditation. It's good to keep resting for one or two minutes after you stop chanting your mantra. Um, and rub your palms together, warming your hands, gently place those warm palms on your eyes and open your eyes looking at your palms. Thank you, everyone. So one important thing I forgot to mention is once you pick your mantra, you shouldn't reveal it to anyone else. You can just tell your initiating teacher at most, and that's it. Keep it private. So we'll have one more class, mostly just for Q&A and to check in on how the practice is going. So it'll be a short or long one, depending on what questions all of you bring. And we will just meditate together again next week. Thank you. See you, most of you in class tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Spangalandi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.